it's completely up to you. I'm not gonna tell you that you should or that you shouldn't. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about beauty. Today is the Beauty 101 on setting spray. I know, I have had so many questions from you guys asking about setting spray and also asking why you don't see me using them that often in my videos. So I'm gonna answer you today and go through setting sprays fully and explain it all to you. Do you really need it? Is it actually setting your makeup or is it just a mist of hydration? I'm gonna answer all of those questions. Now, as always, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. I really do appreciate all of the likes and you guys subscribing and leaving your feedback because it helps me create better content for you guys. You can also catch me on Instagram where you can watch my stories for some daily beauty news, PR unboxing, and just generally what I get up to when I'm not on YouTube. So let's jump straight into the video. So as mentioned, this video is all about setting sprays because you guys have so many questions about it. Now, within my Makeup 101 series, there are various other videos which I've listed in my description box below, so please do go check them out. Now, you guys have been sending in a lot of questions about setting sprays and wondering things like, why do you not see me using them? And what do I think about them? What one of the best ones? So let's get started with this video with the first question. It should do because it's a liquid mist with typically ingredients such as water and alcohol that form a protective veil over your face to stop smudging and your makeup rubbing off on things and makeup fading and just kind of like keeps it in place. So just kind of think of a setting spray like a hairspray, but for the face. And the main ingredient that actually does the job is the alcohol, which is kind of an unfortunate thing because I don't really feel that great about putting alcohol on my face. That's basically what a setting spray is. And if it is a setting spray with alcohol in it, then it is genuinely gonna probably work much better than the other setting sprays with no alcohol. And that is the ingredient which helps your makeup to kind of like set and keep it in place and stop it from kind of smudging or fading onto other, uh, like smudging onto other things or rubbing off or fading. It kind of like keeps it intact. And like I said, it's like a hairspray for the face. It's like a veil that just kind of sits over your makeup and it's that alcohol alcohol that helps to kind of like just all of a sudden fix everything. Honestly, it's because I just don't feel comfortable with using a product with so much alcohol in there because I don't want alcohol on my face. Like I'm, I try to use products which have more kind of natural ingredients in them and products which are not kind of irritating for the skin. Now I have generally quite sensitive skin and it can kind of cause redness and just general irritation. So I feel like by adding alcohol, I could get that kind of slow release of irritation, which I really don't want. Also alcohol is very drying for your skin. So I don't want it to dry out my skin anymore and kind of strip any moisture. So I just don't like the thought of having alcohol on my face, you know, like spraying alcohol on my face. I feel like I'm just spraying hairspray on my face. So that's my main reason, like that's why you don't see me using setting sprays to be honest, because I prefer to stick to the traditional method of making sure that your makeup stays put which is the way that I apply my my concealer first and then my foundation and the way that I set my makeup with my powder by using a puff and really pressing it into the skin. That for me is a much better way of setting my makeup, even though that might make like might take a little bit longer than, than you know, just slapping it all on and being super quick with it. It might take a little bit longer, but I know from experience that once I've done my makeup that way in the morning and I've got like a full jam packed day of being out and about, I know that by the end of the day, my makeup makeup is still intact. I know it still looks fresh. I know it still is in place and I don't have to keep spraying things like alcohol on my face. So that honestly, that's the reason. It's completely up to you. I'm not gonna tell you that you should or that you shouldn't. It really depends on what you feel comfortable with applying to your skin. It's completely up to you. If you feel comfortable with using setting sprays that have alcohol in there, those are definitely gonna work. If you don't wanna have alcohol on your face, then honestly, the alcohol-free setting sprays don't really set, set your makeup. It's just kinda, just kinda gives you that hydration throughout the day. So it honestly depends on what you feel comfortable with using. 
Now there are so many brands out there, it's so difficult to tell you which one you should use, especially because of the fact that every face is different. All of you guys will have a different want or different need from a setting spray. Maybe you want it more for hydration, in which case you can use a non alcoholic not I was gonna say non-alcoholic, but the alcohol-free setting sprays. Or if you're totally cool with applying alcohol on your skin, then you can use certain setting sprays that do have alcohol in them. So I'll go through a few of them, which I would say are good for setting the makeup, but they have alcohol in them and then some of the ones which don't have any alcohol in there. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't think they really set makeup. If they don't have alcohol in it, I don't think that they actually set your makeup. All it does is give you a boost of hydration and a boost of oxygenation in your skin. So it honestly depends what you're looking for. So if you wanna go for a setting spray that has alcohol in there, then there are a couple that I can recommend. So I'm gonna tell you them now. One of them which has alcohol in there is the Huda Beauty Resting Gloss Face. It's the water proof setting spray and it genuinely is a great spray so I have used sprays that have alcohol in them so I have used setting sprays but very very rarely once in a blue moon and honestly it's probably because I just I know that I've I've got my makeup on the whole day but then I also need to keep it on for the whole night so that's probably why I've ever used it but I tend to not to like I, I think I probably used to a bit more I, I haven't done for so long and the ones that I have tried that are generally quite good is the Huda Beauty one and also the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter. So those two are what they both have alcohol in there. Most of the settings, if it says setting spray, it usually has a bit of alcohol in there. So it's really difficult to tell like, you know, which one has more alcohol, which one has less and which would be okay. I would use them sparingly on your face, but if you want to opt for one which doesn't have any alcohol, then to be honest, I would go through, go and have a look at some hydration sprays, but those aren't necessarily, then they're, they're not gonna be setting sprays. It's just gonna be a boost of hydration and it gives you more of that dewy finish if you see what I mean so ultimately at the end of the day if you wanted to set your makeup you're gonna have to go with a setting spray that actually has alcohol in there It doesn't really mean that you have to use a setting spray. Personally, I would much rather you kind of learn how to apply your makeup and set it in the right way so that you don't have to rely on setting sprays. So if you wanna do that, you can head over to one of my previous videos. It, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel, which I've done to make it so much easier for you guys to actually find things. So if you go onto my YouTube channel and then it will have like all the tabs at the top, like you've got community and then you have playlist. If you head over to playlist, I've created a detailed playlist. So you've got eyes, lips, foundation, how-tos, tutorials, everything will more or less be under the tutorials but if you want to kind of like find a specific category then you can head over to whichever one you want. You will find under my foundation category there will be a list of videos which show you how to apply a foundation based on the type of look you want to go for. There is a video which, a couple of videos, one is how to apply foundation my way, that video is exactly how I like to apply foundation and it literally lasts all day and night and you don't have to worry about you know setting sprays. So head over to that if you want to learn how to do that so that you don't have to rely on alcohol setting sprays and if you want to learn how to kind of apply concealer under foundation I'm just trying to like plug that while I'm here then head over to that one as well because that's a really good video for you guys moving on to the next question So again, it's gonna have to be something which actually does have alcohol in there. And I guess if you've got oily skin, the alcohol is gonna dry your skin out. So if you have oily skin, I guess it's, I'm not saying it's not so bad because personally I just think it's bad just using alcohol on your face. But if you wanna opt for a setting spray that obviously has alcohol in there in order for it to set your makeup and you have oily skin, then you could try the Urban Decay D-Slick setting spray. Uh, that's quite a good one if you do have oily skin. Again, it's got alcohol in there. Now again, bear in mind that if you want to go for a setting spray for dry skin, honestly, it's not gonna have much holding power for your makeup. You need, If you have dry skin, you need to go for something which has like a hydrating spray. And the best ones that I could recommend are the Wind Oasis Veil and also the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix is also good as well because that's alcohol free from what I know. I know, for, I, I know that these two are very hydrating and great for dry skin. The Oasis Veil is great for any skin types, even if you do have oily skin it's also good for that too but those two are the ones that I would recommend if you have dry skin but just bear in mind it's not necessarily going to kind of keep your makeup in place and keep it set <music> 
yes it's not a setting spray as such but it is something that i use all the time it's the wind oasis veil reviving glow mist and i don't use it to set my makeup i use it for the hydration and because it's generally good for my skin it has pro vitamin b5 which actually helps to strengthen the skin's moisture barrier and it also helps like give your, your skin that kind of nice plump bouncy look it has orange blossom water this stuff smells amazing by the way and it's really kind of soothing and calming for the skin it gives your skin that extra boost of hydration it has antioxidants so it helps to protect the skin from harmful free radicals prickly pear extract which is a powerful ingredient which helps to deliver kind of like protective and soothing benefits to the skin it reduces surface water loss on the skin gives you a dewy look throughout the day you can use it as many times as you want throughout the day it's not irritating at all i have sensitive skin i've used other like hydrating sprays which are meant to be good for your skin like it says it's got aloe in there and stuff which is supposed to be soothing and then you know if i've sprayed it anything like more than three four times throughout the day my skin starts to feel irritated and then looks kind of red and i won't name what that is but it was bad and i was very very surprised because everyone seems to think the brand is amazing but i just will not try any of the other products after that happened to my skin and this i've used so many times throughout the day and all it does is hydrate my skin it it just my skin just drinks it up and I, my skin has never ever got irritated from this product but bear in mind that's my skin it's, it doesn't mean that it may not happen for you but honestly everything in this spray is very natural and it's good for your skin in general so i would always try it and i wouldn't ever suggest that you overuse anything but for me honestly I've, I've used this several times throughout the day and it's been completely fine plus in the summertime i put this in the fridge and oh my god it is amazing because I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. <laughs> Basically, that's what I do throughout the day, especially in the summer. Put it in the fridge, it's so cooling, it's so nice. So yeah, that is basically everything that I can tell you about setting sprays. It's a short video, but honestly, there's not a lot that I can tell you other than what I have just honestly kept going on and on about is alcohol in products and alcohol in setting sprays. And that's why it works. Uh, that's how setting sprays work. And hopefully now you know why you don't see me using actual setting sprays in my videos that much, because honestly, you have to also understand that when I'm doing these tutorials, it doesn't mean I'm always heading out straight after filming. Sometimes I do a day where I've filmed, I've filmed several videos because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get anything else done in my life so, so um it, it doesn't mean that i have to use a setting spray there's no point in me adding you know like putting setting spray on for it to last forever just to try and sell you a setting spray when i don't use it so i'm not gonna apply products to myself on my tutorials that i don't use just so that you guys can buy it or to try and sell a product to you. I've always said to you guys that my video is gonna be very transparent and honest. And that's why in several videos of mine, you may see the same products popping up over and over again, because I like those products and I use those products. Otherwise this wouldn't be a genuine true channel. It would just be like some of the other channels you get where, you know, every single tutorial has diff completely different products in there. And it's just to sell you the products. I don't do that. Everything in my personal studio room here, all the products in here there, there's a variety of products but it's because i genuinely actually use these products it's not because i'm trying to sell them to you so hopefully you will understand that and i hope that you've enjoyed this video well there you go i hope that clears it up for you and makes everything a bit more understandable about setting spray and i hope you get to figure out whether it's something you do want to incorporate into your makeup routine if you have any questions let me know in the comments box below as always if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon